It's been three years since the world shut down due to COVID-19 and doctors are still seeing patients dealing with long term symptoms. Newswatch 16's Courtney Harrison sat down with a doctor who's been treating long haul patients over the past few years. Millions of people around the world have had COVID-19 and experienced the many symptoms that go along with it. Some patients only dealt with symptoms for a short period of time. Others have had ongoing symptoms lasting roughly six months. Dr. Michael Wolk has worked with many patients who are known as long haulers at Northeast Rehab in Scranton. There's no pattern as to who gets this. Um, it has been shown that the vaccine can be beneficial in preventing it, but even people who've been vaccinated can still get long COVID. Dr. Wolk says experts have done a lot of research on the virus and its variations, and they've learned a lot in three years. Our National Academy of Physical Medicine Rehabilitation has taken the lead on developing consensus guidelines on how to treat people with long COVID or long hauler syndrome. Doctors at Northeast Rehab developed a COVID-19 recovery program to help those long haulers find what works for them. We've also learned that there are a lot of other types of tests that we can do. It involves multiple specialties. It's not just physical medicine rehabilitation. You need your pulmonologist, you need your primary care physician, you need your cardiologist, you may need a neurologist, you may need a rheumatologist. Dr. Wolk says the most common long haul symptoms are fatigue, anxiety or depression, and brain fog. And every patient needs to be treated to meet their specific needs whether it be medication, diet, exercise, or other treatments. If you're having symptoms, there is a place for you to go to try and at least get some uh, answers to the questions that you have and hopefully get on the right path to getting treated. Dr. Wolk says if you're dealing with long COVID, he recommends seeking medical help to find what works best for you. Courtney Harrison, Newswatch 16, Scranton.